hello all welcome to clear technologies uh, this is a new video series where we can uh, discuss about uh, how to integrate a splunk in our mule soft okay so as part of this series we will be uh, creating three to four video uh, videos uh, so that you will uh, be get better understanding of uh, splunk, splunk and uh, how to integrate it mule soft thoroughly i hope this series will be helpful to you okay so as part of this series this is our agenda so we will first see what is the splunk and what is its features and why it is useful then how to set up the splunk in our windows system then we have to send uh, actually uh, splunk is useful in mulesoft point of view is to transfer the logs from mulesoft to the third party tool splunk instead of uh, having our logs in our mulesoft side we are just transferring to the splunk as a third party tool so to do that we have three different options we have uh, we, we will see three different uh, scenarios there is no three options but three different scenarios if you want to uh, send the logs from any point studio logs to our local logs to splunk that is also possible and in this point we will see how to send on premise server logs to splunk this is the second one and the third one uh, is how we can send cloud hub logs to splunk so these are all our important points you have to uh, understand so we will try to make two to three videos to cover all these topics okay okay as part of the first one uh, let's understand what is splunk okay i have captured a couple of uh, points here but usually the splunk is it's just a logging tool or analyzing tool something like that see splunk is a powerful and versatile software platform designed to analyze monitor and extract insights from machine generated data so in our day to day lives in our day to day projects a lot of data is getting generated uh, forget about any apis or any mule soft tool or any other tool uh, once our project is getting executed and uh, when, uh, because everything is related to data so machine will generate lot of data a um, lot of log data is getting generated so splunk is actually a tool which will um, which will manage this logs data and all it's in very versatile way very powerful way so by using splunk we can generate the reports we can analyze that we can search uh, logs based on some criteria like that see it's, it provides businesses with ability to collect index search through vast amount of data so we can manage any large amount of data by using these features we can uh, go through that logs and all so by offering advanced search visualization alerting capabilities splunk enables organizations to gain value Uh, valuable operational and security insights and troubleshoot issues efficiently optimize performance and ensure compliance so i think these points are self explanatory so i'll just go through these points one by one but in practical way while we are going to utilize this uh, splunk then you will get better understanding how to use that how to utilize that tool okay so it will provide visualization charts we can generate uh, uh, charts based on the data and we can send alerts and it is very secured pl platform so most of the uh, organizations also actually uh, using this splunk as a logging tool okay so the next one is it's a comprehensive solution the tempos businesses it is very useful uh, to take some decision making or operational kind of decisions based on these logs okay and the main features and main advantages of splunk is it is having a uh, lot of features but these are all the generic features which uh, we are going to use so it is understanding the data so uh, to understand the data to get quick and accurate searches to find any problems uh, to just to uh, secure the data and uh, we can work smarter by using this uh, splunk tool okay so this is i will provide this slides maybe at the end of this uh, course so that you can just go through these points and it is very self explanatory and easy points you can understand in better way okay so these are all the main features it will um, organizing and studying very important data with by using different patterns and uh, the search is very powerful tool in splunk uh, powerful feature sorry uh, so by using this search you can um, just to play around with that which kind of data which different filters uh, which kind of different category data you want to uh, see or search it is very easy by using this splunk tool okay i'll share this slide uh, it will have couple of information so that you can go through it so 
uh, in this video i think you get better understanding of uh, splunk it's just a log it's a uh, third party tool which will manage the logs and all and large amount of data and we can just uh, generate the reports and we can go through the logs we can search it and it in it, it is in a secure way so this is all the different features of splunk so now let's see how to install this splunk and how to download it how to do the setup in windows system okay so to do that uh, i'll provide this link also in the description okay you need to just uh, copy this link and uh, click on google or you can just uh, type splunk download uh, also you it will work so this is the link uh, where you can download this just now go through it uh, go to this splunk enterprise enterprise and click on get my free trial okay here you have to uh, fill up this form just like the endpoint platform account which we are going to do okay you need to create an account it, it didn't require any credit card or something okay so it is asking for business email but maybe we can give our gmail let's see you can just fill this form i am just giving some dummy number once you click on your account and see this is the latest version 9101 i think now it will yeah it is uh, showing that uh, download version based on your operating system you can select that mine is windows 64 bit so i'm just clicking download here oh uh, yeah maybe it will take some time i will pause the video and i'll rest resume once it is uh, downloaded okay yeah uh, i think it is getting downloaded uh, we can install this plunk in two ways by using uh, uh, the exe file or by using command prompt i'm just going to show you uh, the user i port uh, in mean the exe file how you can install it these are all the couple of commands if you want to run it by using command prompt splunk to install is to install the splunk it is to start the splunk this is to stop the splunk and if you want to add user manually by using uh, command prompt you can do this way okay so now let's uh, go to the downloads this is a exe file so you can just double click it to make it run okay so i'm just uh, showing you in this way if you want you can just uh, do that you can you need to just check this check box and this is the free version right so now here you can give your password and username okay i'm just giving clark to splunk is my username password okay i'm just note it down here click next click on install it will get installed
okay we didn't uh, select the folder where it get installed uh, it took default one let's see if you want you can actually select any other path while installing this Splunk interface mm -hmm. it's just an enterprise <laughs> trial version free version but you can use most of the features once it is getting installed i will show you uh, all the major features Mm -hmm. let's wait maybe a couple of minutes this installation will get completed and a uh, few members actually if though they don't want to install it by using the cxe files and all these are all the commands yeah, just like we have given username and password now like that you can use this command to do that okay maybe it will take a couple of minutes uh, I'll pass the video I'll uh, resume it once it is getting done it took five more minutes for me to get this installed so once the installation is done you will find this screen uh, enterprise setup is done so you need to just click on finish it will uh, open that browser okay it will launch the browser of Splunk like this and you need to observe here the Splunk is running on port 800 so even uh, this port should be open by default uh, this port is 800 okay so uh, you should make you need to make sure like while uh, running any HTTP applications in your mule cert you should not use this port because this port is already running on uh, Splunk so now you can log in with that username password which you have created in the installation step okay for me this is the username and password class to Splunk to this Splunk I have given wrong password for the first time so let me save this so this is how the Splunk will looks like Splunk UI will looks like like this so this is the search and reporting section this is the one we are going to use uh, to search our logs because uh, yeah, you can just skip this tour we'll go through it the required ones uh, okay so here is the search by using indexes and all where uh, we can search our uh, logs so this is the area where we can see all the logs of cloud hub logs or mulesoft on-premise log logs or any pan studio logs here once we done that export part once we do that settings to send the logs from any pan studio or on-premise or cloud hub to splunk we need to do a couple of settings from our end mulesoft side then once we done that then once your application is getting tested all the logs are getting sent to splunk and we can see the logs here in this area and by using these dashboards we can generate uh, uh, user, user design like uh, visualization uh, kind of uh, graphs and all okay you can generate reports by using the logs which you are going to do you can create alerts also these are all the multiple features available in Splunk but in Mulesoft point of view we will mostly use this search we will mostly use this search feature and uh, reports feature sometimes if we need to send any audit logs reports and all then we can use these two features mostly but these are all the main major features of Splunk in any other projects or uh, um, like a temp uh, in the rare way we can also use these features also but as of now we need to concentrate on search okay this is the port it should be uh, running in Splunk by default and uh, let's see where this is getting installed by default okay so let me just go to this and uh, let me just go to this I think yeah here it is installed you will find Splunk folder here okay 
I'm just opening it. Maybe. Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay. That is taking time to open the, because I want to show you some configurations in this folder where it is uh, uh, available. Okay. So let's see how once this is uh, open let's go through the folder structure that will help us to understand a little more uh, but if you want to uh, actually run this by using command prompt you can use those commands which i will mention in that one okay so this is the first video of our series like about is Splunk and how to set up and how to install how to create user and all so in our next video what we can do, we can just create one new project with some couple of logs in our AnyPoint Studio. Then we will try to uh, cover this third topic. Like uh, in AnyPoint Studio also, most of the logs will get generated. So we can send logs from AnyPoint Studio to Splunk first. Let's see how to configure that. Then we can see all the different uh, logs configuration for on-premise and cloud hub. That's it for this video. Thank you. Please subscribe and uh, press the bell icon so that you will get notified when we can upload these new videos. Thank you.